In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit videos like a pro in Descript, which is my absolute favorite software for creating and editing any video that I need in my online business. Now, this is my second more advanced tutorial. So if you are just getting started, make sure that you watch the video I've linked down in the description below first. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that while you can film using Descript, you don't have to. So you can use Descript as an editor for any video that you filmed elsewhere. So if you filmed on your phone or maybe it's a Zoom call that you wanna edit down, you can use Descript. So here's a video that I filmed in Descript. So it's already opened up in the editor, but if I wanted to use a different file, I could just open up a new project, then click add file, and upload a previous video that I'd created. So probably the coolest thing about Descript is that when you add a video file to it, it's going to automatically generate a transcript so that you can edit your videos as easily as a Google Doc. This is gonna save you hours and hours in editing time. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the exact process I follow every time I need to edit a video. So the very first thing I do before I start going through the transcript is I go down here to my timeline, right click on it, then click auto level clip. The second thing I do is go over to layer, down to audio effects, and I turn on studio sound. This is gonna make your sound a lot better and it's going to cut any background noise or like fan sounds that might be there. So yeah, it's really good. Test your sound when you are wearing headphones to get a more accurate sense of what it is. And the final thing I do before going over to the transcript is I go to visual effects, color adjustments, and then go over here to edit the settings. And then here is where I can increase the saturation or the exposure if needed. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do before reading the transcript is I'm gonna go over to Underlord, then shorten word gaps. So this is automatically going to get rid of these long gaps where I'm realistically thinking about what I need to say or taking a sip of water. So you'll see here that I do four gaps that are more than one second. I'm going to shorten it to 0.7 seconds and then hit shorten all. Okay, so that's just going to immediately clean up your transcript for you. Now for my first round of edits, I'm gonna go through and read the transcript. So what I'm looking for is if my sentences are starting in the same way. So clearly it took me a second to get this intro right. So because I know that I've said in today's video down here, I know that I can go ahead and just immediately delete that top section. So in order to do that, you're just going to highlight the text in the transcript, hit the delete key on your keyboard and you're good to go. So we're going through and we're just doing a quick read like that, right? So as you can see here, so in terms of microphones, that took me a second, so I'm just gonna quickly delete that. As I wanted to mention, there is another feature that you could use. If you go over to Underlord, you'll see that there is remove retakes. So let's hit submit on this, and this is going to do that automatically. Now it's not perfect, and because it is quite quick to do this, I just do it my manual way, but I did wanna mention that it will do it for you, and then you can approve or reject their edits. So pretty cool. All right, so the way that I do it is I'm then going to increase the speed in order to do my initial edit. So I will go over here to this icon, then I will turn it to 2x, start at the beginning, and go through and make sure that I've gotten all of the cuts that I need. This allows me to do another check. So I'm gonna go through the transcript. If I see an error that I missed, then I can go ahead and delete that. Now, as you do that, you still might find that there are some longer gaps in between your sentences that you would like to tighten up even more. So for that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to the timeline. So for example, I can see my audio right here and I can see that there's a gap here. So I can go to the edge and I can pull that in. Okay, so on either side of these, you can pull in and out in order to make a more perfect edit and make sure that it flows together exactly how you want. For example, this long gap here, we don't need that, so I'm going to remove it. Don't worry if it like jumps a little bit, it's better to have that than having unnecessary gaps and pauses. All right, once I've done that, it's time to add some fun to the video. So adding text, captions, graphics, B-roll footage, all that good stuff. Now here's where one of my favorite hacks comes in. I actually open up a previous video that I had created and then I copy and paste elements from that project over to this one. All right, so for example, here's a previous video that I'd posted and this one includes captions and the Descript logo as well as a little subscribe button. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna hit Command C on my keyboard to copy because I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, then just Control C. Then I'm going to open up the other project. I'm going to decide where I want it to go. 
and I'm going to paste that in and then I can just move it around for exactly where I want the captions to appear. And it's already saved in my colors. Let's do the same thing with the subscribe button. So I'm just going to click on that. All right, now what's really important, when you want to add these elements to your script, you want to use the forward slashes in order to create different scenes. So for example, let's say that I wanted to add some text right here where it says, I highly recommend. I'm going to put a forward slash at the front and at the back as well. And now if I wanted to add anything to it, it's only going to apply for that section of the script. For example, let's say that I wanted to add some B-roll footage just for that section. I'm gonna go over to stock, then videos, and I'm going to search for something related to what I do. So I'm gonna do laptop typing. Okay, now as you can see, that just filled this space right here. You have lots of options in terms of what you can add. If you go over to elements, you'll see that you can add titles and text. If you go to captions, you'll see there's all these different templates for captioning your video. Stock, you'll see that we have videos, images, stickers, and more. What I find I use a lot is the stickers. So I will go over here and type in something like arrow and I'll get helpful graphics like this that can help me illustrate what I'm teaching. But know that you can easily insert any of your own files. So for example, here's the video of the Tim's Club land. So I'm going to grab that and let's say I wanted to add it to this video. I'm just gonna drag it on this top line of the timeline. So now it's right there at the top and I can click on it and I will be able to edit that file as well. I can go over to layer, I can turn off the audio, I can go down to visual effects and increase the saturation again for that file. So just dragging in anything that you want to add to your video. Often what I will do is I will go into Canva and I will create a design that is 4,000 by 4,000 pixels so that it's a really good quality. And then I will go over to elements and find whatever I'm looking for. So for example, let's say that I really liked this graphic. I'm going to make that as big as I can within this space. Then I'm gonna hit share, download, and I'm going to download this with a transparent background. Then I'm going to be able to open up my finder window and just drag that into my video. And then all I need to do is click on the corners up here to resize it and I can place it wherever I would like on my video. Okay, so another thing I wanted to mention is how flexible this space is over here. So for example, let's say that I wanted to change the way I appear. I can absolutely do that. So I can move this around entirely. I can put different pieces together. Um, if you are going to do that, right click on your graphic and go to layer order and just know that you can adjust your layers. So for example, if this actually you wanted it to be behind your video, I'm going to go to layer order and send it backwards. Okay, this is one of those little things that you need to know. Now, one key question I did get asked was about music. For music, I wouldn't recommend that you use the audio that is built into Descript. I used it for my last video, and then I wasn't able to monetize that video, even though I thought it was going to be commercial free. So just keep an eye out for that. For your music, what I would recommend you do is use the website Epidemic Sound. This tool is fantastic. It's going to allow you to download music of any different style. Then all you need to do is download it and drag it into Descript like I showed you. So for example, here is my song file. So I'm just going to drag that in. Perfect. And as you add more layers, they will stack on top of each other like this. So that is great, which means you can get totally creative with your videos. So I have my music file here. And then all I need to do to fade it in and out is you'll see a little circle right at the front here. I'm just going to drag that over to the right. And that means that the music is going to fade in. And same with fading out, you'll see this little circle here and you can just pull it in to fade it out like that. All right, so here are a few more requests and special features that I wanted to show you. Number one is if you click on your video file and then you go over to layer and to visual effects, click on the plus sign, you'll see that there is blur speaker background. So if you like that look where the background behind you is a little just subtly blurred, this is how you can do it, okay? So it's going to apply there and then all you need to do is click on this icon here to adjust the amount. Now I wanna show you how you can zoom in on your video, which is a really common effect or transition that YouTubers use. But this actually brings me to a very underutilized feature that you need to know. So if you go up here, you'll see that these are all of your scenes for your video. So let's say that I wanted to zoom in on this section. I'm just going to go to that scene, right click on it, then click change layout, 
And this is going to show all these different templates that are already pre-formatted for me that I could use. So for example, you'll see one is Zoom. We're gonna click on that and the layout has automatically been applied. Let me show you what that looks like. How awesome is that? So of course there is a manual way for you to do it, but you can just use that. So I wanna show you a few other examples. Let's say for this scene, we want to switch it up. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click change layout, and then use this one here for media. All you need to do to add media is you click on it, click add media, and then you can import in your file. So let's say I wanted to bring in an image, then I can easily just like that. But what's even cooler is you don't even need to go through that process. You can actually just open your finder window and drag an image in. So I absolutely love this feature and then you can customize it more as well. So if you click on scene, you know, you can change the background color. Um, you'll see with this one, they added a bit of a gradient. So you might need to change that as well. Yeah, there's just so much here that you can customize and you can create really quickly. And then once you have a scene that you like and you've customized for your business, you can just right click on it and save that as a new layout and use it again and again. And if you need to reset it, you can always click on the three little dots and hit reset layout and it will go back to the original. But yeah, let me show you a few others. So for example, we have the screen share, we have multicam, we have your speaker title, we have this one for any content that you might wanna add, right? And that just looks so good. It's like the extra transitions on top of it that I really love and that look really pro. So this feature is going to save you an unreal amount of time. Another question I got asked is, can I change the background color or add a border around the speaker? And yes, absolutely. All you have to do is go down here to change your background. Let's say that I want to change it to yellow. And so now if I moved me around, you'll see that that's the background color. And if I wanted to frame around me, I could just drag in the corners a bit, make it a bit smaller. And now I have a border. You could also achieve that using elements and choosing this square here, and then just placing that on top of your video to achieve a nice bordered look. Okay, and finally, I wanted to show you the green screen effect. So if you click on your video and then you go layer, to visual effects, click green screen, and that will automatically remove the background for you. Then you can put whatever you're talking about, you can put it behind you. So let's say that I had an image of this scenery here that I wanted to put behind me. I'm gonna click on that. Okay, and then I'm going to resize this. Then I'm gonna right click on it, go to layer order, then that backwards. And then I could move me around and be talking in front of that image. So clearly there is a whole lot that you can do with Descript. And then when you are done and you want to share this with the world, all you have to do is go over to export. You can either export this video and then upload it wherever you need, or you could share it straight to YouTube. You change this, make sure it's at 4K. So sometimes I do need to do this final thing where I click this icon here, click other, and I change it to 4K. Then I click export, export it as 4K and then we're good to go. All right, guys, I hope that you absolutely love using Descript and it saves you a ton of editing time. If you have any questions at all or you want to know how to use a specific feature, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon with another video. Bye.